I am Roger Cowan. Um, I'm here to uh, present a webinar on pharmaceutical compressed air quality GMP requirements. And perhaps more importantly, what you need to know to meet FDA and international quality standards. So first slide. Uh, so let's talk about the uh, quality rationale around compressed air. Compressed air is often over overlooked as a potential source of spray coating of tablets, uh, pressurizing various tanks, pressurizing liquid products through filters, fill lines, and also operating control valves and pneumatic uh, cylinders and automated production lines. So these are a few of the examples of direct product contact with compressed air. So it, it goes almost goes without saying that the compressed air system must be properly designed and built from the very beginning. It's also important to uh, uh, do a thorough job on validation, testing, and monitoring of the compressed air. Next page. So um, let's, let's start off uh, describing the system for compressed air. A pharma quality system typically consists of a supply side and a distribution side. So you can see on a supply slide, uh, there's the compressor, the after cooler, air receiver storage tank, various particulate filters, coalescing filters, and a desk and air dryer. On the distribution side, on the other hand, you've got the distribution system pipeline itself, but also various points of use filters. Now, typically in, in a pharmaceutical uh, system, the compressor is on-demand and oil-free. The compressed air that comes out of the compressor is hot, and it's loaded with uh, water. So the compressed air, therefore, enters an after-cooler unit, and that cools the air, resulting in condensation of any moisture that's in the compressed air. And also, uh, this also includes hydrocarbon vapors. Um, this condensate is then drained through automated drain valves. So here's some uh, uh, diagrams and photographs of uh, these components. On the left-hand side is a photograph of a centrifugal oil-free air compressor, typically used in uh, pharmaceuticals. In the middle um, is a diagram, a cross-section of a water-cooled after-cooler. And this is what I was describing that comes after the compressor. Um, you can see that the air goes in upper left and through a uh, heat exchange unit with uh, cold water going in and out. Um, and that, that results in condensation of any humidity that's in the air, uh, which drains out through the bottom through the moisture reservoir. And then the uh, drier air comes out through the right. And then I've got a photograph of a uh, receiving vessel um, on the left, on the right-hand side. Now, as I said, next slide, um, as I've been saying, there's a supply side and a distribution side. So on the supply side, the compressed air is treated for major contaminant reduction. And this brings the air down to a general purpose quality level before entering into the distribution system itself. Now, on the distribution side, the compressed air is fine-tuned at each point of use and this brings it down to uh, individual quality classifications. How does it do that? It, 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 you treat the air with different filter types, depending on the compressed air requirements at each outlet. And we'll be talking more about that later. Now, the reason this is uh, recommended is it's the most cost-effective design solution for a compressed air system. To bring the air on the supply side down to general purpose, and then fine-tune it to different quality levels on the distribution side, as opposed to bringing it down to a very high quality on the supply side. Next slide. So um, I've put together a schematic here of the system, a typical system for compressed air. And you can see uh, the upper half is the supply side, the bottom half is the distribution side. And this is typical. It, it could be varied quite a bit. Um, so let's, let's go through on the supply side. You've got the air coming in to, through an uh, initial air intake filter from uh, outside air. Uh, and that's basically a, a heavy uh, particulate uh, uh, filter. Uh, it goes through the air compressor. 